This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham, and I have got Amy Tibben back with me. You're with the Beth Donovan Hospice. You're their outreach coordinator. Welcome back. Oh, thank you. Thanks so much for having me back. And, and talk about welcoming back. This is our first day of season seven. So thank you for being one of our first guests here today, too. Yeah, it's our pleasure. Yes. Um, we're all kind of trying to get back into the swing of things after a summer break and sent the kids back to school this morning. Yes, and... yes, that was an exciting day if you're a parent or a grandparent sending them off to school again. So uh, it's yeah. been a great day to start new things today too. So thank you for joining us here today and starting off our season seven with us. We're going to talk about the Beth Donovan Hospice today and you're 30 years. You've got a 30 an year anniversary coming up. Yeah, we are just so proud and honored to have been providing service to this remarkable community who in turn supports us for the past 30 years, which is just really incredible. You know, um, I've had the pleasure of going through some of our memory books and scrapbooks of all of the news clippings over the years. And, um, you know, our hospice started in Merrickville 30 years ago. And I, I think about those people who were a part of that beginning and uh, if they could see us now, um, what they might think and 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 not just you know not just those people who were integral to the beginnings but everybody in the community who's ever donated or um, supported us in, um, in in any way or used our services it's um, it's just an incredible honor to be a part of this organization um, and to be a part of this community Absolutely. You know, and, and I was there 30 years ago when Beth Donovan herself started this too. She would see, be so proud of you guys. She would be so proud of what's, what's happened in her name too. This is, she envisioned, I can remember looking at, at uh, blueprints of buildings she envisioned of, of what were, where the Beth Donovan hospice was going to go and, and you guys got it bang on. Her, her dream, yeah. you, you made it come true for her. So, you know. Oh, thank you so much. And of course, I mean, we're so proud of the building that we're in right now. Um, we're in Kempville, just outside Kempville, actually, uh, 1107 French Settlement Road. Um, for anybody who is ever looking to come and, and see the building and see what we're all about, if you want to volunteer, or if you need our services, that's where we are. But of course, we serve a larger community. We reach right all the way out to Smith Falls and uh, down to Merrickville, even down to North Augusta. Um, out to Spencerville, back up to North Gore. Um, and it takes a mighty team of volunteers and supporters and community partners to make it happen. And we've just been so blessed um, to, to be able to do this work um, with the support of everyone around us. So um, it's been really great. So we're excited to celebrate 30 years. And as a part of that, we're hoping to raise $30,000 for 30 years of service. Um, we're celebrating the big 30 and uh, lots of local businesses have been offering their support to um, fundraise us for us through different programs. We've had um, people throw fundraising concerts, um, Brood Awakenings in Kempville. Uh, this week, they're gonna be selling purple heart-shaped cookies uh, with a portion, uh, portion of the proceeds coming to the hospice, which is just wonderful. And um, lots of local businesses have been selling little paper butterflies for us. Um, it's just $2 at point of sale. Um, the customers can pay for those and maybe write the name of a loved one on it. Um, it can be posted in the store or taken home or, or whatever, or just, you know, perhaps give the donation, whatever people feel is appropriate. So um, that's our butterfly campaign and uh, it's been going really well. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Well, you, you, you know you've got the support of the North Granville area. It's just been amazing. It's so nice, you know, when, you know, when somebody will say to me, you know, I, I'm working with somebody or, or a friend of mine got diagnosed with, and it's like, have you got a hold of the Beth Donovan Hospice? They've, you've got everything from equipment uh, that, that is out on loan. Uh, I know you've given it to people, and just the services yourself that, that you provide, too, is just such a, a relief and comfort to people in North Granville. Yeah, that's the idea. We are a community hospice, so we provide comfort and care for people who are at end of life in their homes. We provide visiting volunteers. We do loan out lots of equipment, wheelchairs, um, commodes, bath benches, um, walkers, wh whatever you may need to stay safely in your home for as long as you can. 
Um, and um, we also offer grief and bereavement supports uh, like Support and Share, which is a grief and bereavement program for the newly bereaved. And if people are interested in that program, they can access more information at our website, bethdonovanhospice.ca, and, and indeed on any of our programs. Um, and also, you don't need a referral to use our services. Um, you can self-refer. You just have to reach out to us. We are here to support as long as you are residing in our catchment area. Um, we can provide grief and bereavement, home support, volunteers, uh, whatever, just maybe a little bit of help with navigation of the healthcare system sometimes too is, is all people need someone to talk to. Um, so uh, yeah, they can just reach out directly to us for that. And, and you do, you provide such good service uh, for people you know, after their loved one has passed. You, you're there for support in the grieving process too. And like grieving processes could last a couple of weeks grieving process could be there 20 years later so you're, you're yeah. a wonderful resource for people and support yeah and we really try to offer a variety of programs um, just to suit everyone's needs some people want individual counseling perhaps a group um, like the support and share group or perhaps um, you know maybe you're a more outdoorsy person or an active griever and you need to get outside and move so that's where our walking group um, can benefit some folks. Um, but yeah, so we just, we can't do all of this without um, the support of our community. That's that's our goal is to raise $30,000 so we can keep running all of these programs. Um, and uh, it's been really a blessing. I just want to mention some of the places where you can pick up these butterflies. Um, in Kempville, I know Nature's Way is selling them. Hair Dynamics and Heavenly Hands uh, Studio. Jack's Boutique, of course, our good friends over at uh, B&H Grocer, who have always been so supportive of us and indeed the community in general. Um, in Hallville, Lachlan's General Store is selling them. I know in Smith Falls, the Fringe Studio had them. Um, in Merrickville, Violets on Main, um, R&L Collectibles, Mrs. McGarrigal's. Um, and actually, when I was um, out asking people if they would be willing to sell butterflies, sometimes, um, you know, the selling of the butterflies doesn't work for their business or their store. Um, and so I had so many offers of support from local businesses that um, we are now running a silent auction uh, that will be happening during our open house. We're celebrating on September 28th from 3 to 6. Um, we're celebrating our 30 years and everyone is um, welcome to come to the open house. We're going to have music and food and the silent auction and there will be items from um, businesses like Celebrate Cakes, My Risty Business, um, Silly Goats in Merrickville, Mrs. McGarrigal's has put in a gift basket, Little Sisters Restaurant, uh, Bulldog Antiques and Collectibles, Shoeless Joe's has donated some gift certificates, Our Rose Auto automotive and just there's so many more um, businesses that have donated to our silent auction so thanks so much to all of them and if people still want to sell butterflies for us or if you want to make a specialty coffee or cookie or uh, you want to donate a gift basket we are still open to receiving those donations awesome that's wonderful that's wonderful so how do people get a hold of you amy uh, so I am amy.tibben at bethdonovanhospice.ca um, or you can give us a call at 613-258-9611 um, and you can also access all of our contact information on our website and uh, get any information about any of our programming there too. And your open house is on September uh, 28th from 3 till 6. Are you asking people to uh, RSVP? Uh, yeah, just so we have a general idea of how much food uh, we're planning on throwing a big party. So yeah, that's <laughs> always helpful. <laughs> but you know, uh, everyone is welcome, even if it's just for a quick stop by if you want to see what the building is like. Um, but we'll even have activities for the kids. And yeah, I, I encourage people to even come out and take a look at your, your building, the resources you've got in there. It's a beautiful, beautiful once was a home, but you, you've kept it a home. You've kept it a home for in so many ways. And it's just a beautiful uh, architecture building out there. So it's amazing. Thank you so much. It is a lovely property. We are very proud of it. Um, and yes, the idea is to have it feel like home. Um, and we've got some beautiful gardens and uh, yeah, yeah, it's a very welcoming space. And you do use that the building as a, you do some of your, your drop-ins there, your day uh, 
a day here yeah yeah yet. so our our thursdays um is our day hospice day so we have our um, clients come in for a day away um, they get a lovely lunch and to um, engage with other folks uh, who may be going through similar situations. Um, they play cards, they laugh, uh, they listen to music, they talk about whatever they need to talk about. Um, we often have a massage therapist here, um, our counselor is here if they need to have a quiet conversation. Um, it's a really a lovely day and then their caregivers of course get that day um, to take some time for respite, self-care, get, you know, appointments taken care of, whatever they need. So that's a, that's our day hospice program. It's really wonderful. We also train all of our volunteers out of this building. Our counseling services are out of this building. And we offer um, workshops and programming like therapeutic art. And um, I, I run a, a guided journaling class. Uh, we have all kinds of things going on. So people are encouraged to, to check out our programming calendar on our website for all of the exciting things that are coming up this fall. Oh, excellent, excellent. So I encourage everybody to, uh, to to look at your website, look at your Facebook page, and check out the open house. Just come out and talk to somebody, see what, what it's all about. If you wonder what, what the Beth Donovan Hospice is about, come out and celebrate 30 years. You guys are doing it right because you've been here for 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> thank that's you right, yeah. that's right well thank you for joining us amy tibben you're the outreach coordinator at the beth donovan hospice in north grumble thanks for joining us 